Hi, Sturdy here from Page Water and Gallery. This week we're featuring a Japanese artist I've carried for years. Um, his technique is woodblock and his name is Clifton Karhu. Uh, this is a framed one we've had for a little while and it's called uh, Ishibi Garden. And Karhu is known for depicting scenes of historic sites around Kyoto. He's an interesting man. His name, last name sounds Japanese, but it's actually Scandinavian. And he originally came from Minnesota. He traveled to Japan with the US Army um, right after World War II. And he was there for the occupation. And he started a school in Kyoto um, uh, to teach English to Japanese folks, but soon became interested in, in, in the art and the culture and um, was, was fascinated with the woodblock uh, technique. And just recently, we were fortunate, I was able to buy a new collection of Japanese prints. They were never framed and um, some are as early as uh, 1970 and most of these were done in, in 1983. And I'll just go through this series that we purchased, but um, graphically, Karhu is, uh, his design is just spectacular. When we frame them, once they're up in the wall, they just attract attention. I, 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 you know, whether someone's very knowledgeable about, about art or whether they're not knowledgeable, I think he just has a, a wonderful graphic design technique and then has a great sense of color, the various colors that he puts together in each woodblock are just very appealing. And um, as I said, all these are historic areas, usually around Kyoto. Here's another one. A little more colorful one with some spring greens. Make a little pond. Buildings in the background. Here's maybe a little more abstract. Again, really pretty colors and some grays and blacks and a little rock garden and Japanese lantern in, in the background. Classically Japanese. And here's a very early one. This is the earliest one we have. This is actually called Cambodia II, and this was done in 1970. And the earlier ones tend to have a little more open line work. I think um, a little different sense of color. I think over the years he became a little more confident um, in the use of color and um, and then his, his, his detail and line work, I think, you know, improved over the years. I think one of the nice things about uh, Carhu's work is that they um, can go in many different locations in a home. They can go to a family room, a dining room, a living room, a kitchen. So you're not locked into any, any one location. And um, I think the other thing that's worked so well, I, I think not everyone wants to buy Japanese prints, but I found Carhu, even though they, a lot of them look quite, you can sort of tell that they're probably in Japan. They've been very broadly appealing to, to you know, not just people that have traveled to Japan or are familiar with Japan. I think they just work so well on their own. Uh, people fall in love with them and, and they like to live with them in their home.